the next story I want to share with you is a story, one of my favorite stories. I actually think it's as good as Big Red Lollipop, it just didn't get the same press. And it's called Silly Chicken. And the idea for this story came from my mom, okay? In Pakistan, we call our mother Ami. And I went down to visit my Ami, and she told me this story about a really dumb chicken that her mother, my nani, had. And I came home and I thought, oh, this is such a funny story. I'm going to write this story. It really happened. And if you look at the cover, the artist who did the pictures, uh, her name is Yan Mei Kyung. She did a fantastic job. Uh, in fact, she did such a good job. See the award on the front? It's called the Ezra Jack Keats Award. It's named after Ezra Jack Keats. And when I, it's, so, it's so curious because when I saw the, the book, when I saw her illustrations, they actually reminded me of The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. It, they have the same naivety. Uh, they're so beautiful. She did, she, got, she did such a good job that the New York Public Library gave her an award for the illustrations because she did such a good job. So this story is about jealousy. And look, even on the front cover, you can tell it's about jealousy. Because look at the way the girl, Ronnie, and I named her after my mom. My dad, he calls my mother Ronnie because she's like, Ronnie means queen. So it comes from Maharani. So she's like the queen of the house. And the chicken, I named her Bibi. And Bibi means miss. So Ronnie's like the queen and Bibi's like the miss. And look at the way she's looking at her. She's looking at her because she's jealous of the chicken. And, and so I was writing this story. My mother had told me about this very dumb chicken. And everything the chicken does in the story really happened. So it's based on a true story. And, and the, the theme of this story, the theme of what it's really about is about how silly being jealous is. And if you look at the cover, look at how brilliant it is. It's green. Green is the color associated with jealousy. So when you're sharing this book with your classroom, you can talk about the symbolism behind it. And Yan Mei did such a fantastic job. I mean, this is what Pakistan feels like. She really nails it, especially in this picture. Oh, hang on. Let me show you the picture of the Tonga. She just nails it. This is exactly what Pakistan feels like. And it's about this girl who's talking about this really dumb chicken. That her mother has and it's obvious she's very jealous so that's the picture oh this is what Pakistan feels like it's uh, Pakistan is uh, very charming and it's kind of stinky okay so this is, what, this is what Pakistan feels like it's a really good book for little kids sometimes the little little kids won't won't get the humor they'll sit there they're enjoying it and they're thinking, yeah, mm -hmm, that's, that's the way it is. Yeah, it's like that. The older kids will often get the humor better than the little ones. I would say maybe grade one or two. They'll figure out how ironic it is the way the girl is talking about this chicken. But the underlying theme of it that you can kind of tease out of your students is basically about how silly being jealous is. And it starts with her saying, Ronnie's talking about the chicken. She goes, Ami loves her chicken more than me. She calls her Bibi. I call her silly, you know, so, and then it goes from there, and at the end, it ties all up. It's, it really is one of my best stories. Thank you for watching, and thank you for listening.